Thank you for joining in as we study from the book of Isaiah. I want to read for us from Isaiah 61 verse 2 the uh, latter portion and then verse 3. It says to console those who to comfort all who mourn, to console those who come mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called trees of righteousness. the planting of the lord that he may be glorified we see that our god is somebody who comforts us he replaces our mourning with rejoicing and gladness in this passage we also notice that our god strengthens us he changes um uh, uh, you know he changes a hearts of distress into hearts that uh, are strong in him uh, i want to go back to the passage that says to give them beauty for ashes so in the um uh, bible times when we read about people who uh, put ashes ashes on themselves uh, it it depicted mourning people put ashes on their heads to show uh that they were sad they were grieving they were in distress but when you look at the word beauty there uh if you look up the hebrew word it's a word called uh pear which refers to a headdress or it refers to a crown so what god is saying is he is a restorer he changes um uh, you know our predicament he uh, turns distress around and brings joy into our lives uh even such that you know we we are wearing a crown we are wearing a beautiful headdress instead of putting ashes on our heads and uh, um you know uh, and and continuing to grieve so god can do that god is the one who brings beauty for ashes uh and look at the fact that you know he replaces our crying and our mourning with joy he lifts up the spirit of heaviness which may be um uh, you know pushing us down he he is the one who um, causes that to be removed from us you know every every yoke that oppresses us he removes it because that is the anointing that the lord jesus carried to break the yoke of the enemy over our lives even the yoke of sadness and uh notice here uh the last part of verse 3 says that they may be called trees of righteousness you know as we think about trees trees are established trees are um generally you know strong trees are fruitful they are uh, useful for mankind because so much comes from trees uh, and and it really enriches the lives of human beings so uh we see here that god is able to establish an unstable life and it says trees of righteousness through god's righteousness and we know uh in and through what jesus has done we have become the righteousness of god in christ jesus and it says the planting of the lord that he may be glorified that points to the fact that it is god who has done it and it shall be unmistakable everyone will look at such lives and say this has to be god and give him the glory let's pray together father we thank you for the truth of your word and we thank you lord for um your your love which is vast as an ocean lord restoring us renewing us and strengthening us father uh, today we speak joy we speak restoration uh, into the hearts and lives of those uh, who may be in a difficult place lord we we pray that they will experience your touch they will experience your breakthrough in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org